Maybe hotline, please hold me close to you. Maybe flatline, still time to do it too. Maybe snack time, chow down to her. Unread, she's a hoarder of quarters. No boundary boredom, no boundary boredom. Hey everyone, it's Mez. This video is more of a serious video. I just want to say that this isn't a rant, but me just breaking my silence. Today I'll be talk about my experience in the Fox Malo crew, which I have made many vents about. This isn't meant to be hateful. Please don't harass anyone. So let's start from the beginning. So I met Fox Malo when I joined his fan art contest for fun.at first. I thought he was cool. Shortly after he commented on my video asking if he wanted to be my friend, I gladly accepted because I was pretty desperate for new friends. After that, I invited him to my Discord server, which no longer exists. There, he kept pressuring me for fan art. It was really stressful. But I'm not going to go more into detail with that. And also, it's not the first time they've basically constantly pressured DY to make stuff for them. As they've told me on multiple occasions about this. I made the fan art he asked for because I wanted to stay his friend. That's not really all he did in my server. He said the end slur in my server twice, I think. When I told him that I was black, he said he was brown. I didn't know what he meant, so I thought nothing of it. Another thing that sent off red flags dot in my head was this. Apparently one of his ex-friends Puff was on the grave. My awk and someone else's awk was laughing at the grave. For some reason I felt scared. I thought the people who were sub to this person were gonna attack me. Luckily they didn't. But it could have ended way worse than that. Dot dot it could have caused unnecessary harassment and hate to people who weren't even involved. Now let's talk about when the real drama started. You said sorry, okay. But you also broke a promise. You started guilt tripping people, manipulating people into believing that me and Kai were jerks. All Kai was trying to do was tell you right from wrong. I didn't say a thing until now. And Basically, Kai got tired and cut you off. And all of a sudden, you started making it seem like Kai hated you. Even though Kai really did not hate you at all. And all Kai did was tell you I'm wrong. Such as, um, you, Graham t used to tag me in a lot of things. Like, everything. Things that weren't related to me. I have a whole list of them just doing this. And... And then they made a post saying they will never do it again. Guess what? They broke that promise. Here's a screenshot. So, yeah. They did that. Anyway, um, yeah. And then your stands. Your stands are horrible. They're toxic. Like, they don't, you know, it's starting to think they don't know how to act. Like, okay, listen. Um, they basically act like they have no home training. Like, one of your fans... They literally said I had an argument with me because I tried to justify Kai's point of being you being a jerk towards them. And then you had the nerve to make a post saying that we're the jerks and you kicked us out of your online family, which was not even justified. Like, what? Like, all we did was not be nice to you and try to be your friend. We All we did we do is try to help you. Kai tried to help you. I tried to be your friend, but you made me, you treated me like your slave. And Kai, you made Kai feel like, a, you made Kai like, seem like a jerk. And Kai isn't a jerk. Kai is like a really good person once you get to know them. But like, Graham, that was uncalled for and you shouldn't have done that. Hey Graham, you're trying to ruin people's careers. And when, whenever the, um, the girl exposed you for inappropriate stuff, I kind of respect her for doing that because
because that was really inappropriate and I have screenshots of you doing that, of making that. So I'm glad you appreciate that you delete that because I wouldn't need to bleach my eyes after seeing all the text and why is it so detailed? Just tell me. As I explained in that clip, I told Graham I'd give him a second chance if he stopped antagonizing me and Kai. We ended up getting harassed by his toxic stands and got unnecessary hate because Graham decided to do that. I got tired of being antagonized, so I gave Graham a second chance at being my friend. Now let's get on to the next part. So basically, on my channel there was a period of time when I was only uploading intros and outros for Foxmelo. Dot dot to the point I had no freedom over what I posted. He made the deadline really close to the announcement date. I asked for a deadline change. He got mad dot at me for it. If you do not know who DY is, aka Mies Wee Purdy, then there's a not so great chance that you would have seen her community post basically of her talking to YN about the specific friend who has been using her. Okay, so first let's talk about how this all started. And there's no place to start then from the intro contest Graham has made. It was before he decided to go back to Graham, aka Fox Mallow, as their main channel name. But either way, but either way, it's it's somewhat important in the story. Later on, he decides to make an outro contest, so Dy decides to do that as well. So this is where it starts getting a bit suspicious. This is where I get a little bit skeptical and should you should as well they ask their audience for a jetra family intro so dy being the friend she is decides to make one i forget how many intros and outros she's made but we're going to go to the next thing that i can remember and that's her needing to remake the intro for their channel because they decided that they miss they decided that they miss Fox Mellow so they asked DY to remake the intro to make it say Fox Mellow Okay, so we're going to get more into problems that DY has had. One, it seems as if he's just asking her constantly because he knows that she'll do it. Also, there was a. Also, it seemed as if DY. Um, so, in that intro, I that intro I talked about, DY said to credit if being used, and they decided to not credit at all. That's a little messed up, especially if she asked for credits. Also, it from my perspective and from DY's perspective, it seems as if yeah, they're just using her now. And it's gone to an extent where DY can't even work on projects she wants to work on. She's just working on intros and outros for Fox. Who could barely give a crap about how she feels. And instead knows that he'll be knows that she'll be loyal to her to him. The reason I kept doing the intros and outros was because I was scared of Fox Milo antagonizing me again. I didn't want to be harassed by his toxic stands. Sometimes he'd go as far as to threatening me with Sue, C, D3. I had to end up delaying Pastel Planet and loads of other projects because of him. Whenever Fox Milo didn't get his way, he'd threaten people with Sue, 
C, D3. Dot dot it was scary when he did this because I used to think he'd actually do it. The video he commented on was a joke. Video I made addressing his creepy behavior. Oh, um, so I know you just stalk my red channel, but like, this is on a whole other level. Come on, man. This is this is the kind of the AI when you break the filter. Oh, <laughs> then he made his tricks. Sorry, man. This is on a whole other level. Straight up creepy. Like, oh my god, this is scary. Like, no. Just decided that a real person replaced them with don't make replaces. That is strange. Can make them feel comfortable, please. And this isn't the only time he has done it. Hey guys, it's Mez. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my friends who um, seems to uh, have some trouble with criticism and losing friends. Okay, let's talk about Fox Mallow 1878. I'm not trying to say I'm not gonna stop being your friend. I'm not saying I'm not saying that, okay? Don't even try guilt tripping those little stands of yours. Don't! Because I don't want to get cancelled before I even hit 1k. Also, make sure you watch the whole freaking video before you comment like, Oh my god! You're gonna leave me? No! Okay? No! Okay, so this is what their crimes are. Making racist jokes, emotionally neglecting your friends, um, comparing serious situations to your OC Sage, and just making pretty weird stuff. So yeah, let's talk about that. So Kai made a rant about it, and what did Fox Mello do? They decided to harass Kai. I got on them about it, and they deleted the video five minutes after. Melody got fed up with your behavior and decided to, you know, cut ties with you. What did you do? You decide to harass Melody and have your stands harass Melody. Harass her. Like, what type of trash is this? Like, dude, it's getting old. Stop it. When, because in the description you said you were quitting. Forever. Even though you've done that, like, multiple times and you just never quit. Like, dude, for real. It's getting old and it's kind of annoying now. Melody got fed up with your behavior. And it's annoying. Please stop it. I'm not saying I'm leaving you. You're not gonna lose me. <laughs> You're not gonna lose me, okay? I'm redirecting you, okay? Please listen to me. Do not. I, I see you typing. I see you typing. I see you typing that guilt tripping post. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. I'm sorry, I'm just stopping you, idiot. Uh, yeah. I'm just here to tell you do not do any of this stuff anymore. It's just messed up, okay? And I will link all the other rants that explain further what this stuff is in, in my description. And make sure you read it, Fox. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. So this is another incident of Fox Malo antagonizing people and doing some pretty weird things in general. But he took this one step too far. Hey everyone, it's Mez. Uh, don't know how to start this video, but basically, my friend Fox Malo has decided it was a good idea to fake their death because my friend Melody didn't want to be their friend anymore. Like, what the hell? That's messed up as hell. And to make it worse, he blamed it on Melody. Melody doesn't deserve your harassment. She doesn't deserve this shit. Yay. You're done bud. This is some fucked up shit. People started telling you to stop faking your death. You decided to make this shit worse by role playing instead of being mature and properly apologizing. The thing that made this even worse is that your fans we're just excusing your behavior this is so fucking disgusting mellow if you're watching this fix your fucking behavior don't you dare guilt trip because i never said i'll 
Stop being your friend. Just correct your toxic behavior. Bye. So he thought it was a good idea to fake his death, all because Melody didn't want to be his friend. There's nothing wrong with reincarnating your ox. I do it all the time. But don't do it to gain sympathy and dot to make someone seem like a horrible person. It was disgusting how your toxic stands were just excusing this behavior and not correcting it. Hey everyone it's Mez. This is not a rant but this needs to be said. This is about my friend Fox Malo's toxic stan. Let's get on with it. So basically, if anyone dares to say anything bad about Graham, Smash will straight up harass you. He also tries to make everything about him. Another thing he does is misgender my friend on purpose. According to Google, it can happen on accident, but he has done it so many times that I'm thinking he's doing that to piss my friend off. We have corrected him many times, but he keeps doing it. I swear every time we try to explain something to him, he treats it like a joke. He literally starts role-playing sending us to jail or England. Like why you acting like England is a bad thing? Like is bro delusional? What is banning us from Gacha City gonna do? And does he have something against England? Oh boohoo! I got banned from Gacha City. Like nobody can take him seriously. On to the next chapter. One thing I noticed is that Graham doesn't know what constructive criticism is. And I honestly blame Smash for it. He's constantly making Graham think what he's doing is okay. He keeps chasing haters and ranters away. If he keeps doing that, Graham will never improve. Okay, that pisses me off. We aren't the bad guys. So standing up for ourselves is a bad thing. Bro, stop. He made us feel evil for standing up for ourselves. He made us feel like horrible people for speaking out against the abuse Fox Malo has put us through. He even tried to get his fans to attack us for no reason. Mario King seriously needs Dottio think about others. Before he posts something like that, he has drained my sanity. So one time, under one of my vent posts he decided it was funny to tell Dottie to off myself as a joke. Let me tell you how I felt when I saw that. Dot dot it felt like my own friend didn't even want me alive. I was going through a really tough time, and your head thought it was funny to say something like that? That is really messed up. If you thought of that and thought it was a good idea.